Hello dear, you're welcome to this week's episode of Comfort. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I really appreciate you. This is Comfort Vlog, my YouTube channel where I discuss about how to live a worry-free life, how to live with people, how to ignite your spiritual life. And I say thank you so much. I welcome you to today's episode. This week is promising to be exciting and it's going to bless your life i believe so so this week what are we going to be talking about we will be just discussing about what to do in a, in a situation whereby you've lost certain things or you've lost things you lost things that you do not expect what are you going to do how do you cope now if we look at the world we see that most people they they've lost time they've lost their business they've lost their organizations and even before the the, the repercussion of others comes up you know that most people has even lost their lives out of depression people are just they are working they are dead they are dead they are just working so as a child of god what are you supposed to do in this period of time fine it's not it's not easy nobody's saying it's going to be easy for you to just believe like that but trusting god totally will help you now what are you going to do in the situation whereby you've lost certain things at some point i was just thinking that how will students how would they cope with all the time that they've lost even business owners most people they are they, they have their business shut down nothing is running fine and everybody's just thinking everybody's everybody's in a, they are in a kind of an unhappy state state of mind so what are we going to do as a child of god what are we supposed to we have to do is we have to hold on to the word of god we have to hold on to the word of god because nothing else can save us even in all of this situation we need to know that god still loves us he has our our love at heart so the only thing that can help us at this period of time is to hold on to the word of god he said in the book of Joel 2 verse 25, he said he will restore unto us all the years that the locusts and the cankerworms have eaten. And you must also realize that his plans for you are good and not evil to bring us to an expected end. So please, instead of being worried at this period of time, hold on to God and try as much as possible to hold on to your faith. God loves you and he keeps loving you you need to avoid at this period of time is avoid people that are so full of negativity at times when you listen to certain people you will think ah, the world is the world is over everything is over avoid people that feed your mind with negative thoughts like oh this everything is going to end and people cannot be the same again people say negative words some people are so full of negativity that when you just spend five minutes of your time with them your day your day will almost be ruined because they will feed you with so much negative thoughts and so much negative words that even the little the word of god that you've held on to before you will not even know when everything will just fly off so, as a person that really wants to be focused on this period of time, avoid people that feed you with negative thoughts, negative words, words of words that make you feel hopeless. Avoid them totally, and focus on God. Hold on to the Word of God and believe. Don't lose hope on anything because. We are limited, but our God is unlimited. He has the power to do all things. He has the power to make things happen, even when we do not believe, even when we feel like it's over. But to him, it's not over. He has the power to do great and mighty things in our lives. So as children of God, I beseech us, please don't go near people that feed you with negative words. And watch out this Friday. I'll be launching my first episode of Purpose Talk with Comfort. 
every Friday we'll be talking about how to discover your purpose, how to live in it, how to fulfill your purpose. And I, I believe so much that the Lord will bless you through that also. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you have not subscribed, <clears throat> kindly subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified once I drop a new video. Thank you so much and God bless you. Stay blessed.